Good morning, YouTube fans. This is Dr. Matthew Johnson. It is Monday, August 21st, 2023. Mine and Cynthia's 13th anniversary. We met at our 30th high school reunion and haven't stopped talking with each other since and loving one another. Hi, babe. Wave. 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 There we go. That's her right there. Yes, right there. Okay. So last night we did something different, and we did something different because Zorth, the leader of the Council of Twelve, asked me to do something different, and when Zorth speaks, we listen and we do. So we set up Steve Bachman's electromagnetic pulsating device, machine, in the portal area, near the garden area, and we sat around the portal area, and um, we welcomed some uh, various um, alien refugees. And they weren't Jean Nu, but they were unfallen, so they were kind, benevolent species, and we would cheer them on as they came through the portal. Does that sound crazy to you? Because it does to me. But it was real. And we're going to hear some testimonials from people that were here last night enjoying the fun. And we're going to begin with... Hello. Hi, I'm Laura from Vancouver, Washington. And um, actually last night I didn't see a whole lot. With the machine going, all the little kids tended to, I think, gravitate over towards that machine because I would hold my hand out and I wasn't having my hand disappear as it has in the past. What little kids are you talking about? <laughs> Any of the little Janus that were Little Janu kids, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm guessing they were Janu. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. They could have been the other unfallen species. There we go. Um, I, and I actually retired early because I was exhausted, so I'm sorry I don't have much to report today. Well, that's good. You're fine. Thank you for sharing what you did experience. Next. I'm Daniel from Kaysville, Utah. Um, this is actually my eighth Time coming here. Is there some kind of like uh, circumcision ceremony? That <laughs> <laughs> no, you just keep drinking the okay. Kool-Aid, buddy. Okay. Yes. Just, just thought I'd ask. Yeah. Um, but uh, so yesterday I went and sang to the little ones, um, sang a few songs, and they were gathered around me. Ron came up at the end of it, and he said, "Yeah, they're all, there's a lot of them all around you." And, they were really pleased to hear your singing and hear your playing your flute and well it's an ocarina but um so that was fun and i always enjoy coming here to do that for the little Janu kids and and they love it so they, they'll often bounce around and i'll see them jumping around and go, let's go let's go daniel let's come on sing but um so yeah enjoyed that last night um as we were getting started with the night sit, as soon as the machine turned on, I saw all the little Janu children just rush it and sw swarmed the machine and just, ooh, look at that, wow, that, okay. They were just really interested in it and seeing it working, so. Wait, really wait, awesome. wait, wait, you're blind. How did you see that? Uh, <laughs> The back of I'm just kidding. Uh, my mind's eye. I it's all darkness. I'm completely blind, but in my mind's eye, I see them as glowing figures, shapes, sometimes shoulders and heads, or even um, get special moments where I can see even more uh, specific features: eyes, noses, mouths, cheekbones. Um, yesterday, I or. Yesterday I mentioned that one had waved at me, so so I see them in a very unique and special way. But now I know um, I ask you that question every video, but this could be somebody's first video, right. and so I just every time you talk I ask you because if they're watching you speak, they're eventually going to figure out. Yeah, I think that guy's blind, and, and but he but he's talking about seeing them. I don't get it, so I that's why I ask you. Repeating that yeah. any time or every time, so okay. it's all good. Okay. So thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, but after that, um, as people were taking pictures and saying, seeing what was coming through, I I just sat there and was playing my ocarina and played a few hymns throughout the night and 
a little improv playing with the other songs that were happening. So that's pretty much all I had. Um, when I did go to bed, my feet and legs were tingling. But So that's about it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Next. Hello, I'm Sharon from Battleground, Washington. <coughs> um, last night, down at the machine, I didn't see too much. A little bit of a red glow, but not nothing like uh, several of the people here experienced last night. So I wasn't disappointed. There were a lot of pictures taken, so I'm hoping that people really got some good images, especially of the new species coming through the portal. It was pretty exciting just seeing the machine at work. I've seen it in the garage and um, just idle, you know, turned off, but, but it was really interesting watching it uh, rotate. And um, so it was a great weekend, awesome weekend. Uh, I encourage people to come to Camp Janu. It's uh, my eighth time. Habitual <laughs> offender, and uh, I love it here. It's just um, just the best. The people are great. Matt and Cynthia are the best hosts and hostess ever. And um, so I encourage people to come, experience, enjoy, and learn. You'll learn a lot here at Camp Shawnee. Thank Where you. Where connections are made. Hey. <laughs> awesome. <Plug>. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Hi. Pamela from Rainier, Washington, and I did. I saw. She, some things, but not anything really significant. But we did have a good time. People were drumming and sing singing and whatnot. But a lot of these people here have great captures on their phones and their cameras. So I'm looking forward to seeing those things shared. But this morning when I got up at 5, I stretched and and I was stretching and had my eyes closed and I saw this little pin dot of light and it was coming from a very specific location and I realized, oh, that's just Ron. <laughs> So that's it, really. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hi, I'm the Pinpoint of Light. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. My name is Ron. I'm from uh, Yelm, Washington. <clears throat> uh, yesterday we had our watercolor class, or in exchange watercolor class. Uh, it was very crowded up there. We had a few little ones, uh, mostly big ones, uh, Janu, that were there to participate in the, in the class. And I think many people, if not most people, got some forms of imaging on their on their paintings that they Janu came in and painted, which was really rewarding for me and nice to see. Um, my experience last night at the night sit, <clears throat> I uh, at one point, I guess about half an hour into it, uh, as the machines was running, I just focused and almost like went trance like looking down the pathway and you were giving a kind of a play-by-play -play of what was happening and I started to see it and then at one point I saw that grid pattern uh, that you have as a photograph uh, and I could see it but it, it, it morphed into like a hallway and went down mm -hmm. down the trail yep and then at the down the trail there was like a soft glowing light and <coughs> coming up I could see heads coming Right up, and yep. the background was like a reddish, it's a very soft, subtle red, mm -hmm. and it was making them look like a silhouette as they were coming up. And as they were coming up, they were getting bigger and bigger and mm -hmm. bigger, coming up the trail. And at one point, I was like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> I thought the warriors were big, but some of these are bigger than the warrior looking. And uh, it, they walked, waddling. Yep. back and forth like yep. this not 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 like the way the Janu walked but what I was seeing as a silhouette when one of them is particular I think the first was because I saw him twice was had no had no neck it had just like a, a small head and big big shoulders coming down almost like this uh, I think that was the first one I had seen because we had several waves of um, beings coming up that trail and the first ones but they went off to the to the to the right towards the garden area Matt went several times up to the edge of where the portal is and every time three times every time he went we thought uh, you know talking amongst us that he had opened up his camera but there was a in his face a flash of light uh, with a little bit of a red light also like almost looked like an LED red light it was so bright so that's why we thought it was his camera was opening, but he didn't have a camera with him. So that was kind of interesting to see that. And uh, that was about it. Well, 
Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. Appreciate that. Hello. Hi, I'm Edward from Tenino, Washington. Uh, this is my first weekend here. And yesterday was a lovely day. Uh, my wife and I, Louise, went out for a walk on one of the trail loops that was here. And uh, in particular, she may have some comments about that later. Uh, because for us to go on a hike around here was something unusual for us given her condition. And so we were very pleased and she's doing very well this morning. So we're very happy uh, to see that improvement in her just this weekend that we haven't seen before. So we're excited about that. During the portal evening, uh, I really didn't see an awful lot, uh, but I was kind of excited to be at the presence of using the Pulse machine to open and maintain a portal when new immigrants could actually come in uh, from other places. And it was fascinating to be a part of that and to hear the descriptions that others like Ron have had and the play-by-play -play that Matt has had uh, that gave us during the night. And so that was fascinating. Uh, other than that, I really don't have a lot to add to the day. But it, it was just uh, wonderful to be a part of all this activity with all the wonderful people that are here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, were you going to say something? No. Oh, okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Thank you. Hello. Well, my name is Harley from Grand Junction, Colorado. And I have learned so much so fast here about things I knew nothing about or only suspected over a period of many, many years. Um, I asked for healing on my back, and I got it. My back still feels amazing. Wow. And <clears throat> last night, <coughs> I seen orbs. I seen uh, a, a red, faint red kind of glow. Mm -hmm. And I think I seen, but I'm not sure because my night vision is very bad. Um, I, I think I seen uh, outlines of some stuff, but I, I couldn't really tell what it was. Um, this has been a very, very uh, good weekend for us. Um, I, I definitely would like to come back, and I encourage other people to come here. Thank you very much. And now the better half. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm Linda, and I'm from Grand Junction, Colorado. It's been an amazing weekend. Last night when we walked down to the area down there by the portal, I felt a lot of energy there. But, and then I sat in my chair, and when Matt turned on the machine, I felt energy just run up my um, right leg and up my side and up my back. And then that kind of just mellowed out. And I just sat there, and there were so many orbs out there. I just saw hundreds and hundreds of orbs, all different colors, reds and oranges and mostly white. But it was a beautiful night out there. And the weekend has been great, and I, I would recommend this to everybody. I made a lot of new friends, which is awesome, and everybody is so good to you here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy from um, Tongue Water, Washington. Um, last night was really cool. Um, before, before we went down, um, at, I turned around and I saw, uh, I think it was a Janu, like while we were kind of setting up and getting our chairs all situated. Uh, behind us, and I, I think a couple people also saw, also noticed it. Um, and then um, I had some sensitivity to the to the machine when it turned on. Like, I could really, really feel it in my chest, um, and it was really intense. Um, so I kind of wandered a lot as sitting was really hard, um, and so I was walking along the portal, like towards the garden and could see, I think like a lot of the beans when they came out were like zonked. And so they would kind of like trans, like rest almost over there. Mm -hmm. So that was cool kind of, I couldn't really see definitive shape like Ron could. Um, I could see like outlines occasionally, lots of orbs like other people mentioned, um, probably the most orbs I've ever seen here. And, um, and then I was walking down back over where we normally sit by the wood pile and the jars, and the jars are disappearing. And I was talking with George and something ran between us really fast. Um, and he saw it too. Um, he's not here, he had to leave early. 
but um, it was like we could feel what ran between us. It was, you know, from right to left, and it was like, but no, no image of what it was. It was a black, black shadow. But that was so that was really cool. And then um, I stayed till the end when we turned off the machine because it started to kind of make a strange sound. And yeah, it was really fun. Okay. Thank you, and a, and a great weekend, great people. <clears throat> Always fun to be here. Thank you. Thank you for hosting. Hi, uh, Josh from uh, Tumwater, Washington. Uh, first of all, I wanted to mention a couple things that were more notable that I completely forgot about in my testimonial yesterday. Yeah. Um, one was uh, um, I had my chair at the night set. I had my chair pushed so that I wobbled in my chair, mm -hmm. which would take a little bit of strength, but no one around me touched my chair, uh, so that was interesting. And uh, and then the other thing is I saw a. a a full body shadow form uh, run behind where we were sitting in the night sit. Um, I saw it run for about, I don't know, 20 feet or so very quickly. Uh, so those were things I left out. Uh, so last night um, was really cool. Um, I'm very, very sensitive to energy. Um, and uh, when the machine was first turned on, I could you know feel it through my whole body, especially in my chest, even from 45 feet away. Um, and in just like a, a pulsing. Uh, basically, um, and right away when the machine was turned on, I saw tons of orbs and energy and stuff flying all around uh, out of my peripheral vision. Um, and um, but the energy was so intense, it took me a long time to kind of relax. Uh, and once I relaxed, um, uh, I had moved to another position, and I started to see a lot more um, energy coming through the portal area different lights, um, uh, a red glow like other people saw as well, um, but I'd see lights where I imagine the, the visitors' heads were, um, just a, a lighter like streak of, of lighter light. Uh, and, um, and then uh, at one point Matt turned off the machine uh, to tell the story of the Exodus and um, it, something changed and all these orbs, hundreds if not thousands of them, started whipping around me in circles and vortexes and all around me. And I'm not really sure why that happened, although it completely removed um, the intense energy feeling, the, the pulsating, uncomfortable feeling I was getting from the machine. Now, the machine was also off, but then when the machine was turned on again, that didn't come back even when I went close to the machine. So it somehow align my energy with it or something, I don't know. Um, that was pretty cool. And then um, the machine was back on, and then I could see things much better. Um, again, you know, the last group of people uh, came through, not people, whatever they were. <laughs> uh, I could see the round, I, I saw a round red where the portal was with energy, and then I saw lights where I imagine the heads would be coming through uh, again. Cool. Very cool. Thank you. Okay, back in the cheap seats. Hello. <laughs> I'm Laura. I'm from Bremerton, Washington. And um, this is my first time here, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it and would recommend it to anyone. Um, I don't think my Squatch vision has sufficiently developed, <laughs> but um, at uh, Portal Palooza last night, <laughs> I, was, I was able to see where the portal was, where it opened up. There was light there where the portal was. I was uh -huh. able to see that. And listening to Matt's narration of what was coming through, I just feel so blessed to have been here to see this, where these uh, unfallen refugees or fighters are coming to our planet to help in the fight of good versus evil. Um, to me, that's just amazing. All of these different life forms that came through the portal last night, um, it just blows my mind. Um, so I was excited about that. And uh, yesterday, uh, my friend Catherine and I took a hike on a trail and we saw a perfect X in the woods, which was cool. And um, yeah, it's just been great. It's just been a fantastic weekend. Thank you. I, I'd like to thank 
uh, Matt and Cynthia for all of their hospitality. Thank you very much. You're an awesome hostess, babe. Yeah. <laughs> On the other hand, people just put up with me. Okay. <laughs> Next. Next, Catherine from Durango, Colorado. And I had another visitation at my cot. And I had the heavy blanket, I had another hat on, and I asked, please, don't startle me this time. And they did not, but I was handled. They left my hat on, but the blanket was all shoved in disarray. And I felt a lot of tingling against same spots in my body. and. Um, Sounds like they were working on you. Sounds like it. It felt like it. Yeah, good. Yeah, so I appreciate that. Awesome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. I'm Donna from Cottagefort, Oregon, and last night at the Palooza. That <laughs> <laughs> was very, very interesting. I saw kind of the red lights, blue lights, things moving back and forth, and pretty much everybody else saw it. Now, usually my night vision isn't very good, so I usually don't see this stuff. But the really odd thing for me was at my cot, yesterday afternoon, I went to lie down and I heard heavy breathing. Oh. And I thought, okay, nobody's here, no one's sleeping, and there's heavy breathing. So I didn't think anything of it because I had those problems. <laughs> and I came back a couple hours later, lie down again, heavy breathing. Once again, I'm looking around, no one's there, no one's sleeping near me. So I forgot all about it, went to the Palooza, had fun, did all that, got all energized. The energy is incredible. We left early about a quarter to 11, Teresa and I, to go back to the cot, like get all situated, heavy breathing. And we're the only ones that had left that early. There was no one else around us. So the heavy breathing is coming closer and closer. And then I say, can I help you? Is there a problem? And I heard a female voice say, please help me. And then it, it went closer to me and got on top of my cot and said, please help me. I said, okay, I'll help you. So I started praying. And then I also asked the Janu to help her. And he did. It was, she was gone. I assume it was a female entity that had probably come over before the Palooza last night, a previous Palooza. <laughs> so either that it was a, an older woman and had dementia entity. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She sounded like she was really confused. Okay. I'm used to that. <laughs> Thank you. It was fun. It was? It was like everything here has been really great. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> I'm Teresa from Springfield, Oregon. And I have one thing to say about the previous video uh, testimonial. When I got to the wood pile, I usually see orbs and uh, pin lights in in closed eyes and kind of in my like Dan third eye type of thing and when I got to the wood pile I put my hands on the wood pile and one of the crystals there was glowing and I I, I usually um, kind of work with crystals and gemstones and stuff I've never seen one glow that hard um, they put them in watches and different energy but um, when I got to the wood pile I put my hands on the wood pile and there was an orb with something orange spinning in it. And I, my eyes were open. I saw it there. That was kind of a surprise for me. But then uh, last night at the portal, Portal Palooza, <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> um, where we were sitting was kind of to the side, so I didn't really see the uh, red glows or the, uh, the portal opening. Um, took lots of pictures, and but I feel so blessed to be part of this that it was something different that happened at camp and that it was helping helping the the entities that were coming over so i i, I really took lots of pictures so we'll see what's what's going on but it's been a great weekend They're reconnecting with everybody and meeting new people yeah thank you yeah, thank you hello hello i'm brandon from ogden utah and uh Last night I experienced um, some red eyes on the walk to the to the night sit, and uh, then when we got to the night sit and uh, Matt started up uh, Steve's machine, 
I was getting really strong, almost shocks through my fingertips from that. And uh, after a while, though, it started giving me like a third eye energy headache. And so we moved a little farther back from that. And, um, but I also noticed uh, from the machine that was, uh, the ground was lit up where the portal was for me. It was lit up green with occasional kind of red misty above that. And um, also seeing a few orbs in the trees <coughs> and uh, just more red eyes. Some pretty high up there looking like 13 foot high and whatever. And um, then just more red eyes watching us as we walk back to our cots at night. And, um, yeah, I just want to thank Matt and Cindy for this event. We really enjoyed it. Yep. Thank you very much. You had red eyes watching you as you were walking back to your far away camping spot. Yep. Most Down people. That dark long walk. Yeah, and that <laughs> long dark walk. Most people camp around the house, right, or nearby. But you guys like chose way at the end of the yep. the hiking trail. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm Jessica from Ogden, Utah, and this is my first time here. It's been an amazing weekend. Thank you to all of you, my friends, and I wanted to experience seeing orbs, and I did get that last night for my first time, and it was really amazing. I seen them all in the trees, and it was a great experience. I did see some red energy all around down where the portal was, mm -hmm. and then when Matt had walked down to the portal by through through the portal <laughs> to greet them, I seen this really beautiful like yellow golden light. It was like somebody turned a flashlight on him and it turned off. And I seen <coughs> that twice. And I looked at Brandon and I said, "Did you see that?" And he said, "Did you see that?" I wanted to make sure. Am I the only one that's seen that? And he's seen it also. <coughs> So that was really cool to experience that. And I did um, have to step away a little bit. I started to get a energy headache. From the machine. From the machine, yeah. yeah. So I yeah. had to back away a little bit. Yeah. So. Okay. But yes, thank you for having us. It's been a great weekend. How did you feel about that long, dark walk with red eyes watching you? <laughs> it was a really long, it seemed like the longest walk ever last night. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Did you guys hear or see anything way in your distant campground? Any walking around or anything? I or? heard a, it sounded like little tree branches uh -huh. break okay. in the middle of the night, and then I couldn't go to sleep for like an hour. It sounded like almost like a big leaf blowing like around us. Huh. It's hard to describe, but okay. it's almost like it was like a big leaf just around us. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. My name is Maria from Lake Norman, North Carolina. And um, so first of all, I remember before I came here, my birthday was August 7th. And uh, my husband asked me, so what do you want for your birthday? So I was like, well, you know, I want to go meet the Chanu. And then another, but he's like, yeah, but you want something else? And I'm like, anything and then like a thought pop pop and I'm like oh I want a drum so I started looking for drums at Amazon and it was like no I just don't feel it I just don't feel it and I forgot about it and then when I got here I said they were selling they have like a little shop and they have drums there so I started testing and I found one and I was like oh my gosh I love this so the whole time I'm like just I just want to sing I just want to have I just wanna do the drum. I just it's just like the music, that's what lights up my heart. And so that's one thing. I found my drum here, right? Uh, something that I forgot to say yesterday is either Friday night or Saturday night I did see some red eyes. And that kinda like solidified because I wasn't seeing much. It was very dark, but I do I did see that. So I wanted to say that. And then um, Saturday night, I left them some treats by where I was sitting uh, for the kids, like so, some of these things. Mm -hmm. And today I went to check and 
they were there so he didn't take it so, but yesterday um i took a hike and i went to sing to them and i left them two of these lollipops and two of these one strawberry and one orange and i placed them just like that at the place that i was singing for them so this morning i was just like oh my gosh let me just sing for them and i got over and i got ready and i just left and i was singing for them and everything and then when i saw i looked down and there were the two lollipops and they took one of these, the strawberry one. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was so yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> so they took that. I was so happy. Uh, yes, so that. So then about last night, I felt it was a celebration. That's what it felt to me. Like, oh, my God, we're welcoming our brothers and sisters. And we're here to, tell, to show them that we love them and that they are welcome. And when we were singing, I just wanted to sing. I just wanted to to do it together for all of us to be there for them and we're telling them welcome and I know there's like a thought in my mind that kind of when my, because we didn't know what was gonna happen so we just went there Matt said they want us to turn on the machine um when he turned on the machine I was like oh okay it was like that pulsating force I immediately I just had to leave I, I I went in the back because it was too much so just like a lot of the my other friends here we're all experiencing different, um, I guess, different amount of energy from it. But um, I didn't get to see any orbs or anything. I just felt like this, I felt blessed that I was there, that I was able to experience it. I felt like this is a celebration and, and several of us had instruments and we were just singing and, Boys singing and it was just a beautiful experience and I was gonna say a thought came into my mind when Matt was saying oh there's beans coming in and I was like what <laughs> <laughs> but, but how do we why are they bringing other beans in here oh and they're not sure I was like oh my god and then immediately I felt like they're good they're bringing good energy it's, it's okay and I was like oh okay and I just felt like it was fine like I just felt they were good and Matt was describing it and I felt it was true as well. So last night was a beautiful experience and I am grateful um, to have been part of it and to have met each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're thinking about coming, I mean, this was my first time, so it's not like everyone's gonna be here, but everyone that comes here, I feel has something in common. And that is that we have a good heart we're loving people and we want to make a connection with this and with these friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so very much. Hello. Hello. My name's Tim. I'm from La Center, Washington. And I just want to say this is a wonderful place. The peace that's here, it just, you're on a mountaintop to begin with, but it, you're really on a mountaintop when you're surrounded by people who are so like minded and, and, just love one another. Um, last night at the sit, I too was uh, next to George when that thing ran by, seen that, and I took a lot of pictures. Got a lot of different pictures to share. But uh, again, come here. You need to experience it. I said before it was a once in a lifetime thing, and Matt said, no, it's not just a once in a lifetime thing. And he's right, it's not. But the connections are made here, and it is a very wonderful place. And I thank Matt and Cindy for their hospitality, and I thank everyone else here for their friendship. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Hello. Hello. My name is Jim from Warren, Oregon. Uh, at the night sit last night, not a whole lot going on. Right when Matt was getting ready to turn on the machine, I had something dark run between the two chairs out towards the machine. Figured it was a young Sasquatch. Very definite. One of the best I've seen as far as little guys running through. Um, I chose a bad spot to sit, so I didn't get to see a whole lot down the trail. Did get to look at the trees, though, and uh, I did see quite a few orbs uh, in the trees where nobody else was looking. So they missed that part of it, but uh, it was good. Went to bed, and in the middle of the night, um, I felt something walking around my cot. 
and not just once, but several times. And then when I get over by my clothes bag that I have in a plastic bag uh, beside my cot, I could hear a vibration and uh, it was like they were touching it or something. And I could tell when they'd get by my head, I could almost feel them, but they never touched me. Uh, it was just knowing that they were there. I could just sense them. So that was really exciting. And other than that, that was about it. So. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My name is Teresa. I'm from Vancouver, Washington. Um, last night was amazing. Um, I, when Matt turned on the machine, um, I definitely felt the energy just like everybody else. Um, for me, it was in my throat. It actually kind of scared me when it came on, to be honest. Um, but the, um, when I was watching um, towards the portal area, I could see um, uh, kind of distorted um, and um, see the field change a little bit. Um, not a lot of color to it for me, but um, definitely a distortion in what I was seeing. Um, and when Matt would walk down to um, view the uh, or to welcome the new visitors, um, then I also saw next to Matt two other beings on others on either side of him. So I'm assuming those were Janu also walking with him to welcome the newcomers as they came in. So um, I. And I also saw the lights um, in front of Matt when they um, when they were coming in. So as they were, um, um, it was just like a quick flash. So a lot of us thought it was Matt taking pictures. Matt did not bring his camera. So um, that was about it for me. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Louise, and I'm from Tenino, Washington. And this is my first time here, and it's been it's been wonderful, uh, a wonderful journey, adventure. Um, we got we got down to the portal uh, party uh, last night, kind of late, and I was very tired, um, and we weren't sitting in a great spot, so we didn't I didn't see a lot. Um, I saw a, a white fog at one point, but that was about it. But what I really wanted to talk about was <clears throat> what happened earlier in the day. Um, my husband and I went for a walk and um, we ended up on a triple, if you've been, ever been downhill skiing, <laughs> you know about the Black Diamond Trails. <laughs> we ended up on the triple Black Diamond Trail. Uh -huh. And you have to understand that I've, <clears throat> I'm, I'm from back east, kind of the epicenter of Lyme disease in southwestern Mass, right next to Connecticut, you know, Connecticut, you know. And um, I was used to roam the, the woods with my brothers, and and I, I was bitten by ticks back then, and and I got Lyme disease, and it didn't really get bad until about 20 years ago, and then it it started affecting my feet in a big way. And so it's been difficult for me even to walk around my house. And, um, and yesterday I noticed that my feet were better and I said, let's go for a walk. And so we ended up on that trail and, um, <clears throat> and I made it, I made it, you know, I made it through. It was uh, quite steep and difficult. And Ed said, well, how are your feet doing? And I said, um, I'll know tomorrow. That will be the acid test tomorrow. So I got up in the morning and my feet were were okay. It was amazing. It, they were okay. And um, I'm just so excited um, about that. Um, cool. It's, it's not fun not being able to walk and I, I love hiking and mm -hmm. 
and, and just being in, in nature. So this is so exciting for me. And a triple diamond at that. I do a triple diamond. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hello, I'm Cheryl from Tenino. And Tenino what? Tenino, Washington. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, this has been a, just a real exploration for me of something new and different and beautiful. And uh, I came in being nervous and uptight, and I, to I told the Zanu that my first night, and I've been very relaxed and at peace. So that's that's been beautiful. All the aches and pains, little ones that I just noticed in my body were are gone, and I I've just enjoyed the whole atmosphere here of friendliness and kindness. And so last night for me the. Um, I, oh, during the day yesterday, I was taking a nap, and I felt like I was leaving my body. It's really interesting. I've never had that feeling before, and I kept thinking, wow, maybe I'm leaving my body. But then I could feel my arms and legs, so I thought, well, not quite yet. Maybe I'm getting prepared to leave my body. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Um, but then last night, I didn't, I didn't see very much there. I just saw a lot of red energy around the machine. I felt it in my head. And I, I was happy to be part of the welcoming crew for whoever was coming in. Um, so, but I've had a wonderful experience here. And for me, I, I, I go with wonderful new feelings and a wonderful new experience, and I'm very thankful for that. Thank Thanks you. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, I'm Bobby from Battleground, Washington. Um, been here many times. Um, I just can't get enough of the Camp Janu fix. I love it. <laughs> Meeting all the new people, we always make some new, great new friends. Have great hosts, Cynthia and Matthew. Um, last night, uh, I saw actually quite a bit. At first, I didn't think that I had saw a lot. But as I sit and reflect on it, I realized that I did see quite a bit. Um, when Matt turned on the machine, I saw a lot of the little ones that had come that were out, a lot of twinkles in the low in the brush around the machine. Um, there was a lot of orbs and twinkling of whites and reds mainly in the trees. Uh, Matt went down and as the groups would come through, being that we were the welcoming group, um, or committee, <laughs> Matt would go down and, and introduce all of us and, and welcome them formally. And one time when he went down, there was, as many other people have testified, a bright flash that was just, you know, very quick of a reddish, orange, yellow, very bright flash, like uh, he had turned a camera on himself and tried to take a picture. So we thought, well, it, you know, it might have been a camera. Well, when he came back up, he had no camera. That's because I like taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, was, I didn't have a camera? Not no. Pic okay. No, you hadn't taken a camera down oh, okay. with you. No, I didn't. And, You're right. Um, at least that we knew. No, I didn't take a camera. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but it was very bright. That stood out uh, immensely. And then another time, Matt was, he would be describing us, giving us play-by-plays of what was coming up. I saw the, I saw a lot of red glow mm -hmm. down the pathway, and um, he was describing some tall beings that, that were coming through. And as they were walking up towards us, he said, you know, how they were getting bigger, you know, the closer they got. And he, and he said, they are big. Well, when they got up there, they kind of stood there for a little bit, and they were big. <laughs> I could see, um, it was like a misty, whitish blue, uh, almost cloud-like in front of the trees. They were standing in front of the trees, and I would say they were, and I'm not real good at height, uh, I'll attest to that. Probably uh, 25 feet tall. They were extremely tall. And they stood there for a few minutes. Well, not maybe not a few minutes, a couple of minutes. And, but it was very evident because of the background of the trees. You know, the trees were so dark that their, their mist, their fog really stood out. Um, and 
I didn't feel any illness from the machine itself, so, but uh, I just wanted to tell everybody out there in, in uh, Jeanu land that if you have any qualms and don't know what to expect of coming to, to camp, it's always, I've never heard anyone say they haven't had just the most extreme experiences good-wise, you know? Everybody comes not knowing what to expect the first time, but then when it's time to leave, it, you've made new friends, and it's it's sad when we leave, you know, because we've made such good friends, it's really hard to leave. So if you're on the fence, don't worry about it. Bite the bullet. Come. You'll make a lot of friends. Connections are made. Awesome. And, but... You are leaving, right? Oh, I guess. <laughs> but I'll be back. I'm already signed up for September. <laughs> okay. And September is right around the corner. It's not that far away. Hope to meet new new friends in September, yeah, too. Yeah, we have new people coming in, too. Thank you very much. Hi, Haley. Who are Hello. you? I'm Haley. No. From, from Moses, where? From Moses Lake, Washington. Okay. Um, I didn't see a whole lot last night. I did see um, the pathway down to the portals. There's some glow rocks down there. Uh -huh. um, those kind of faded in and out a couple times. I did see some pretty large figures mm -hmm. that were kind of the white, misty, mm -hmm. cloudy shape. Um, I don't think I saw much more than that. I was taking a lot of pictures, so I think I distracted myself by doing that. <laughs> But I'm hoping to go through them and find some really um, cool and interesting photos. You did find one that you showed I me did. with a face in it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a Jean New face. That was pretty cool. Yes. Other than that, I was um, glad to meet everybody and I hope to be back real soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two weeks. As yep. work permits, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I'm Cindy. I'm from Royal City, Washington. Um, I was very excited about doing something different last night and I took a lot, a lot of pictures, which I have not looked at yet, so I'm hoping that I caught something interesting. I did see the glow rocks disappear. I mean, they were just completely gone most of the night for me. Um, I saw a few orbs and, you know, a little twinkling here and there. Um, Right before Matt turned off the machine, I felt like a tingling on my face, and I thought, oh, I'm kind of cold, so I put my stocking cap on, he turned off the machine, and I woke up 10 minutes later. So I took a nap at the night sit at the, okay. the Portal Palooza. Apparently, I was just out cold for about 10 minutes, and then not long after that, we went on to bed. But I do want to mention something I forgot yesterday. When Sharon was up hugging Saria the night before, she did turn for me, which I usually don't see this when they're hugging Surya, she did turn a greenish blue and she was waving uh -huh. like this. Yep. yep. So, <laughs> yeah, but that was it. Like everybody said, it's a great place to be. Lots of friends, lots of family now. And when I arrive each time, as we come up that big, long driveway, when I get to the top of the hill, I always have a feeling of, ta-da, we've arrived. <laughs> the ladies that helped in the kitchen this time, thank you. You know, I'm usually helping, but this time, every time I turned around, they had everything done. So, thank you for great hospitality. Thank you very much. Hey, babe. Hello. Uh, let's see. We didn't know what to expect last night. Um, so, there was a certain amount of anticipation going in. The second the um, device was turned on, the light show got really intense. There were orbs against the trees. I don't see the shapes that well usually, um, but just the light show that was going on. And then that flash that other people have mentioned right in Matt's face when he would go down to greet the individuals that were coming through. Um, and then just the energy, the excitement, everybody's anticipation was really palpable. So that made for a very different and interesting experience last night. And as usual, wonderful group of people. Thank you all. Thank everybody for pitching in. We can't do it without that, so we really appreciate that. And thank you for being here. Oh, 
Okay, so there you have it. Now, just a public service reminder. I mentioned this at the end of the last video. I'm going to say it again. Um, people come here for a variety of reasons. Some come here for possible healings. Um, I've said it before. I'll say it again. We cannot guarantee you. There we go. You. Yeah. And, and you. You. Especially you. Um, <laughs> we cannot guarantee you a healing. But as you've heard, healings happen. So come and find out. Maybe you might get healed. Maybe you might not. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, please come and enjoy the experience. Thank you for listening to everybody. This is Dr. J signing off. Good morning from Camp Jean New. Have a great day.